now in this part i'll be creating uh, this about section so let's get started first of all navigate to the elementor editor Okay, just reduce the size here to make it smaller and create a new column let's take a look whether it's two column yes it's a two column create two column here add some padding you can measure the padding here um, there is another ruler options you can add inside your Google Chrome add-on let's scroll down I had one mm. format or not this one okay so there is no need i just i can use here i can press alt from my keyboard and here you can see just hover over the above section there is a space between uh, this section and above section which is 163 pixel so based on my experience uh, i could use here padding which is 120 pixel top and at the bottom 120 pixel and use the image tag uh, image widget here choose image let's upload the image that i would like to use about me and take a look here the design again there is an icon here right so you could upload uh, you could add this icon uh, using elementor or you could add these features uh, using elementor pop-up features but uh, if you do not have elementor pro then you cannot add the elementor pop-up here there is some other features and uh, in the future i will show you how you can add pop-up without elementor pro now let's jump into the elementor editor and there is another image that i have to upload this one about left so add alternative text about left insert media here now the image looks like this and you can insert uh, the icon over the image which is not standard the best practice is upload this image as a background image and place icon here as an image uh, let me show you uh, what kind of problem you will be facing in the future now let's add another image and the texture the font size is 24 semi bold and it's 16 and 16 here you can add some spacing advanced and you can add some margin right here 30 pixel i'm sorry it should 20 and here you can add margin left 20. now it looks pretty similar and add some heading here Okay, so heading four. Change the typography. You can change it to semi bold, which is refers to 500 or 600 is perfect here. Change paragraph. So I'm I'm going to a little bit faster. I hope you understand. Uh, if uh, I just go faster than your thoughts then please let me know in the comments if i should uh, slow the process uh, in my tutorial so margin top i would like to use margin top here well so if i take a look at here the paragraph usually it looks like this And there is a bottom uh, button here now the about me section looks like this 
so if i just take a look at the image again and here you can see read more which is uh, comes with a icon here let's copy the button here and here you can see the button comes with the default style and we can change the button text to read more we can change the icon here easily arrow but now if you take a look uh, i'd like to save it after and uh, spacing here now uh, it looks perfect right now but if you take a look at the design here you can see there is no uh, background just a border at the bottom you can do the same but if you change it from elementor then you have to do it every single time and uh, it's completely up to you but you have to do it using elementor there is no other way at this moment now border type solid you can only paste border bottom which is 4 pixel and remove the background color from here uh, which is uh, change the background color so background type classic and change the color to transparent and border radius 0 pixel now as you can see it looks similar right so if i take a look at the design here we can see at the left side there is no uh, border so i'd like to change the padding also the bottom should be 10 pixel or sorry 10 pixel and also it should 3 pixel now it looks perfect on the hover the text color is black now i hope you understand many of you asked uh, in my previous video that how we can create a customize a button looks like this but i hope after watching this video you will be able to understand how you can add this kind of border in your button area well so the problem is here you can see the uh, image is not displaying perfectly right so we would like to use uh, a icon over the image but it doesn't allow us to do so so what is the best way the best way is to remove this image from here and select the column area make sure you have selected the column area from here and go to the style select background type classic upload image from here click insert media and now as you can see it looks like this so i would like to use change the position center center adjustment default repeat no repeat size should cover now if i close this one it looks like this so let's add some image here to see whether that it's applying or not so as you can see when i apply uh, any image or any widget here it just changed the border radius and border so we can change it later now let's add this icon here so this is the play icon and i think uh, already it already available inside the elementor let's delete the image search here icon drag it to here and type here play play it looks like this but not similar exactly but i think it's enough you can change the size here and change the color to theme color and let's take a look whether it, it's vertical align middle it's working right now and if i go to the column area again and go to border change the border width to zero and set none so as you can see the border radius and the icon looks perfect now also there is another thing there is a little black shadow here and if i just scroll up here you can see uh, it takes much space than the right text and the person that i he's uh, walking here now if i just reduce this right 
area here and increase the left area it looks better now let's reduce more now let's some add margin right a uh, padding right 30 pixel to see whether it's applying or not it's not applying here because i have added a background image here now as you can see the margin is applying here perfectly so the spacing is good and top should 10 pixel is enough i think so now it looks perfect but again i miss the overlay color select design and go to the background overlay and here you can see the background type make sure you have selected the column so when i select a column here you can see edit column and if you do not understand where i am navigating right now or staying right now you can simply always uh, take a look at the top corner or uh, top middle uh, inside the elementor editor then you'll be able to understand uh, where i'm editing right now so if i select this image or icon if i click over here at the top middle here you can see edit icon text that means i am inside the icon area now if i select column here you can see edit column that means i am inside the column area now if i go to background overlay and change the color to black also we have global color options we can change it from here that would be perfect for our future now it looks good it looks uh, perfect right now it i think there is no issue at all and we can change and uh, we can uh, update the responsive features in the future after completing the home page now in the next part i'll be creating this section